An athlete's goal is to leave a program better than they found it. Marinakia Tunrache did that, leading one of women's college basketball's greatest turnarounds while in the maroon and white from 2004 to 2008. When she arrived in the program, A&M hadn't been to an NCAA tournament since 1996. Atun Roche and the Aggies went to three consecutive NCAAs, and the streak is still going today at 14 in a row. Mo was a part of the class that took a leap of faith. We hadn't proven anything yet at A&M. It was just a special time, and that was a special class, and Marinicki was a huge part of that. She was the 2005 Big 12 Freshman of the Year and first team all-conference as a sophomore, setting the school record for block shots in a season both years. Well, the play was never over with Marinicki. She played each play to the max. And just a player that you could trust that was never gonna take a play off. Injuries hampered her late in her collegiate career, but couldn't stop her. She pushed the Aggies to Big 12 titles in 07 and 08, playing off the bench as a senior, winning the conference's award for sixth man of the year. She holds the school record for career block shots and three-point percentage, and is in the career top 10 in points scored. The first word that comes to mind is versatility. Mareki could play various positions on the floor. She didn't care where you put her. She just wanted to play. The most gifted, fluid athlete Fluid. I mean, she could have been a free safety. Uh, she played back row in volleyball. She could have done so many things just because she was so gifted as an athlete and just as a person. She left the program better than she found it and now finds herself in A&M's Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, Marinaki Atun Rache.